Decorating with the signs of the season has never been more fun. We're talking pumpkins and we're talking felting. Let's head into the craft corner because we're going to make our own little teeny tiny gourds that are absolutely adorable. Vicki Klontz is back with us from Annie's Keepsakes and you're actually going to show us how to felt little tiny pumpkins. We are. And mm -hmm. this, now you've done some well, wet felting with us in the past, but this is right. this needle? Is needle felting. Needle felting. Right. Okay. Look how cute that is. We're going right. to use felting needles, Victoria. They have little barbs cut out up and down the shaft. Okay. So when you poke into the fibers, the fibers go together, but oh. they don't come back out because they're cut at an angle. So we're going to start out to do our core. We don't need fancy fibers. We need something good and coarse. We're going to okay. start with these nice Corydell fibers. I got at Earth Guild. Oh yeah, who and dyed them for you? This is beautiful. Well, Anne Marie Walters dyed the beautiful merino fibers oh, that we're going nice. to put on the outside. And we're going to start with a 40 inch length and you want to roll that up as tight as you can. Oh, okay. okay. Roll it all the way up mm -hmm. and then we're going to, thank you, mm -hmm. then we're going to needle felt the fibers together after it's in that cinnamon bun shape and you're just going to poke in with the needles and go all the way around from the top, the bottom, mm -hmm. until you've got a nice solid shape. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to take Anne Marie's beautiful fibers. Those are so Aren't pretty. these yummy? They're called heathered pumpkin and we're going to wrap around that way and felt, felt, felt. Then we're going to wrap another length around this way and, oh, and felt, it's felt, felt. All. It covers it up in the beautiful color mm -hmm. and then we have this. Lovely. Okay. So you don't want to do it till it's rock hard because then we're going to take some pearl cotton. Which is adorable. This is just so pretty. It's got a little, I don't know, personality. It does. And then these nice long, three inch long doll needles and go down from the top through the center. We're going to make our sections. Okay, you I want was to wondering how that worked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do a knot, a nice big knot, and then go down the same area okay. and pull it through. And then you're going to pull it tight. Because and pumpkins have those beautiful sectioning marks on them. Right. And then you just continue all the way around until you have six sections. This is the stem. We're going to take a three inch length of green fibers and we're going to fold them in half and needle felt the end. But you want to leave the bottom ends loose so you can go back in and felt that into your pumpkin. And that'll hide down in that center part where you it made all will. the sections go through? All that mess with oh. the knots and stuff that hides that. And then we gotta have some leaves. Gotta have a leaf and so we're gonna cut our leaf out of this beautiful pre-felt. That's great. And then you just needle felt that in too. And this makes it seem so easy. It is a lot of steps, but it's worth every one of them. Want the instructions? I know you do. Go to our website, WLOS.com, click on the Craft Corner link. We'll get you all set with these great instructions that Vicki is sharing with us. And you can also find out more about her business. It is called Annie's Keepsakes. You can find out where she's going to be, what shows she's taking part in, and the classes that she's teaching. Vicki Klontz, thank you so much for sharing a really great idea for fall decorations, maybe name tagged or place settings. Possibilities are endless.